this CapCut tutorial for PC or Mac, I'll show you the basic features and how to make quality content like this one. If you want to make money online, here are three things you need to do. The first one, decide what you're going to do. For example, freelancing, YouTube, etc. The second one, research the field, take different courses, educate yourself and take action. The first part of the video will teach you how to work in the desktop version of CapCut. And in the second half of the video, we'll start working in the web version, which you don't even need to install on your computer. If you want to get a deeper understanding of CapCut for mobile, follow the link in the description and check out my video course. I'm Stu and let's get down to business. Download CapCut software from the official website, install and open the program. To start, you can authorize in the program by clicking the sign in button. This is necessary to allow your opening all your projects on any other devices. If you're going to work on the video just on your PC, you do not need to be authorized. To get started, you need to create a new project. For this, just click on the new project button and we will be immediately redirected to the main window of the program. First of all, let's quickly go through the main menu sections. All video, photo and audio materials that you have added to your project are displayed in media. Audio includes a collection of free, copyright free melodies and sound effects. Using the text option, you can add subtitles or text inserts to your video. You can select from a variety of different text templates or create your own unique style. Also, you can automatically generate subtitles for your video using one of the supported languages. Languages. There's a large collection of graphics for all types of occasions and stickers. The effects has a large collection of presets with various elements that will make your video even more interesting. It all functions very simply and quickly. Just drag and drop the desired effect on top of your main video and you'll get an interesting result right away. The next option, Transitions, includes many choices for changing frames in your video. Filters includes ready-made color filters that you can quickly add to your video. Meanwhile, with adjustment, you can create your own color filter manually. Having familiarized with the main points, we can start working on our video. Add previously shot footage using the import button in the media item. It's not necessary to add all of them at once. New materials can be uploaded at any moment you need. Now move the frames to the timeline in the order that you want. After that, you should be sure to remove all the pauses in the video. This is necessary to maximize the dynamic nature of your video and keep your viewer entertained for as long as possible. There are a few ways you can do this. You can modify the length of a certain fragment by using the sliders while highlighting it. You can also cut the fragments in the desired place by using the split function or the control plus B key combination and delete a fragment with a pause by pressing the delete button. Also, you can cut the beginning and end of any fragment using delete left and right functions or using Q and W keys on the keyboard. Choose the method most convenient for you and remove all the pauses from your video as I do. Now, let's change the scaling of half of the frames to make the transition between them less abrupt. For this purpose, click on the second video segment and in the right part of the screen, you'll see its features. Here, here we zoom scale to 130% and then center the face using the X and Y options. You can also move the clip by highlighting it with the mouse in the player window. Also in this small menu we can add different animations for the selected object. Slow down or speed up the video, change the audio volume and edit the colors using the adjustment item. Now I'd like to add inserts at the beginning of each item that I narrate in the video. For this purpose I prepared this animated background. I drag my clip onto the track above the main video at the beginning of the first item, shorten this clip to the size of the first phrase and repeat with each item. The draft is ready. Now, let's move on to creating the titles. For this purpose, let's use the text menu, auto caption submenu. Select the desired language and wait for the generation to finish. Our title text is ready. Now we can check and correct the titles where the wrong text is generated. Along with this, you can divide long titles into several parts. It's advisable to leave a maximum of three to four words in the title so the video will look more dynamic at the expense of frequent change of titles. Now, let's proceed to the design of the text. Pay attention attention to the item applied to all. If it is enabled, the changes you make are applied to all phrases at once. Now this option should be enabled. The font for this video, I chose from the list offered by CapCut, namely Onset Black. The font isn't copyrighted, so you can safely use it in any of your projects. I changed the font size to about 22 to 23 points. The color of the text is white. All letters are large. I scroll down below and enable glow. The color is changed to black. I set intensity to 70, range at 60. The basis for our titles is ready, as you can see all titles have the same features. Now we'll set up the start scenes for each item, the background for which we prepared earlier. I choose the text at the beginning of the first item. I disable the property apply to all and I also uncheck the glow option. I simply change the phrase where the title number is pronounced to the desired number. After that I switch on the item background. I set the rounding corners to 30%, height 10%, width 40%. After that I move our text to the center of the screen by simply dragging it with the cursor and of course I'll add an input animation for this text block. I move 
to animation and here I'm going to select slide up. I repeat the same process with the next item. Here's the result we achieved. I design all other titles with additional animations, highlight key colors with different colors, add emoji or other stickers to the titles. The detailed instruction how to make such titles can be seen on my channel at the link in the description or just by clicking on the hint in the upper right corner of the screen. Sounds are a very important part of any video. I've picked up these sound effects for this video, dragging and dropping them to the right positions. I change the volume if necessary. I also add some dynamic background music which I picked up in the CapCut library. I adjust the volume to minus 22 dB and add a one second fade in and out at the beginning and end of the music. After finishing everything we want to do, our video needs to be saved. To do this, click on the export button in the upper right corner. In the corresponding fields, enter the name for our video. Choose its format and the place where you want to save the video. After that, you just need to wait for the rendering to finish. Now let's switch to the web version of CapCut and finish the second half of our video. For the beginning of work, we need to follow the link to the site CapCut.com. Then you'll need to authorize or register on this site in a convenient way. We are welcomed by the main screen of the application. Now let's look at all its components. On the left side of the screen, we have menu. The first thing we observe is the start item. Here, there's a button to create a new project. The projects that you have created earlier are also displayed, and under them the site offers a variety of ready-made patterns for your projects. Recent Drafts also stores all your projects. Templates is a menu item with ready-made video processing patterns. To get started, just choose your favorite template, load your video into it, edit it a bit to suit your needs, and get quick results. Magic Tools features this set of ready-made and interesting AI tools for photo and video editing. For instance, there are tools to help you quickly remove the background in a video, or make the picture in the original video better, etc. Now, let's start creating the second half of the video in CapCut Web. Let's click on the Create New button. As you can see, we are offered to define in what format we will edit our video. You can choose the format you need, or you can choose Blank Canvas, which will automatically adjust to the size of your original sources. After choosing, we are redirected to the Editing window. Here's where we're going to create. As you can see, on the left side of the screen, we have Menu buttons. Each of them is responsible for a different set of actions. The Media item is responsible for adding new footages and pictures for our video. You can upload files from Google Drive or Dropbox, but we will upload local files from our computer by clicking on the button Upload from this computer. You'll see a small download wheel next to each clip. When it fills up completely and disappears, the clip can be used. All our materials are available and stored in the CapCut Cloud, so you can use them not only in this project, but in any of your other videos. In order to add clips to the timeline, just click on them with the left mouse button in the order you want. As you can see, all the clips are already on the timeline. Now we need to remove all the pauses in the video. You can modify the length of a certain fragment with sliders when selecting it, or you can cut the fragments in a desired place using the split function or the control plus B key combination and delete the fragment with a pause by pressing the delete button. This is how we cut all our clips. To make the transition between the frames not so abrupt, let's change the scaling of the part of our frames. For this purpose, click on the video fragment and in the right part of the screen, click on the basic button. Here we increase the scale to 130% and then center the face using the X and Y points. You can also move the clip by simply selecting it with the cursor. We do this every second frame. The basis for the video is ready. Let's see the rest of the menu items on the left side of the screen. Stock videos collects a lot of free stock videos that we can use in our projects as needed. Audio stores free audio files that can be used in any project without copyright issues. The text menu item is responsible for adding text elements to your video. Here you can find ready-made templates and styles for text for any taste. Stickers has a huge collection of stickers that can fit any video. Effect is an interesting menu item with a very large number of attractive visual effects. They can be added to both videos and photos. Transitions is a very useful menu item with many beautiful visual transitions. The principle of adding all the elements from the previous items is absolutely simple. You press plus and stretch the item for the time you need. Literally, in a couple of clicks, you can make something very interesting. Captions is a useful tool for automatic or manual creation of titles. Let's create automatic captions for our video. You'll need to click on the auto captions button, choose a language, and wait for the procedure to be completed. After that, a new track with text on it will appear on screen. You can edit the text if you notice any errors in it, but in general, there are not many mistakes. You should also break the captions into blocks of three to four words at most. Go to the text design, click on any title, and in the right part of the screen, select apply to all. It should be enabled so that the changes you make apply to all phrases at once. I chose a font from the CapCut list, namely Onset Black. The font size is about 22 to 23 points, make all the letters large, and I add a shadow to separate the text from the video on the background. The color of the shadow is black. I adjust it by clicking on the three dots next to its name. Opacity 100%, Blur 45%, Distance 10, Angle minus 75. 
the basis for our titles is ready. Now, I'll add an insert to start a new paragraph. To do this, I move the background that I prepared in advance to the timeline on the track between the text and the main video. You can use any background from stock images or from the CapCut library. I shorten the clip with the background so that it covers only the part where I say the number and title of the paragraph. Now, let's do the title next. Highlight the title text. Replace the part of the text where I say the paragraph number with just a number. On the right side of the screen, uncheck Apply to All. Now, we're only editing this text block. I select the presets menu item and here I select the appropriate preset style. Using the mouse, I move the title to the center of the screen. Then I go to Animation and select the desired animation. Done. If you need to, you can do the same process with other similar items in your video. I design the rest of the credits by adding various animations, emoji, and stickers from the CapCut collection. You can see a detailed tutorial on how to make such titles in the description below this video or by following the tooltip in the right corner of the screen. It's also important to add different sound effects to your video to add atmosphere to your animations. For this video, I picked up a sound like this from the CapCut collection, moving it to the right moments, turning it down a little bit, and done. You can also add background music. You just choose what you like, add it to the timeline, and turn the volume down by about minus 25. That's it, we are done with the video. It's time to export our video to the computer. To do this, click the export button in the upper right corner. In the appropriate fields, enter a name of our video and choose its format. Done. The third, start earning and increase your income. If it's freelance, find clients and make a great job for them. If it's YouTube, make videos and monetize them. If it's another field, also look into how to make money there. Act, learn, practice and you will succeed. We made a cool video, but if you want to learn how to edit even better videos on your phone, I have a video course that will help you do that. All the details are at the link in the description and I recommend you to watch this video on my channel.